Hello, hello. What's up, Maria? We were serving it. And she would come in and all oh, they, they got it every time, every time, every time. Then she won the national championship. And I was like, she needs a dish on the menu. I love golfers, period. And she's special. If you're from Arkansas, you don't forget. So we're here on campus, right behind me, we have the football stadium. I've spent so many of the Saturdays tailgating and going to the stadium and it was fun. It's just, it's insane. I always say that Razorback fans are a different kind of crazy and I love it. <laughs> I was playing at the University of Arkansas at the time and Shauna, our head coach, and Mike, our assistant, were really high on this girl from Mexico. Moving from my hometown, Pachuca, Mexico, to here, to Fayetteville, it was very culturally different. That was very wild. Like for me, it's just so hard to understand college athletics. She was just kind of young, kind of coming into America, not really knowing exactly what she was kind of getting herself into in the college scene. As much as I was like not sure when I landed here, as soon as like I met some of the people that were gonna be either my coaches or teammates, I was like, I know this is where I want to be. Just kind of seeing what the school means to the state and the community and like it's just such a cool town and you almost have to come here to experience it and truly believe it. Like they just love to support anybody who has any sort of involvement with the Razorback. So it's, it's something very special. I'm just happy that I get to call it home. I mean, the food's amazing. What makes this place the best restaurant in town, it's the people. You walk through the door and they're calling you by your name. They know what you want, how you like your food. They treat everybody the same, you know, like. Not everybody. <laughs> <laughs> she has a dish on the menu, it's called a falsy shrimp. We actually cook it twice. It's, it's, it's prepared twice. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very special. No, I look at it now just to get a bigger head and see my name on the menu. <laughs> That's it. Then you toss it in the garlic and throw it in the skillet. When she won the national championship, y'all don't understand. <laughs> that was huge, man. That was huge. <laughs> huge. Let's do this, sir. This is the first time I've gotten to sit down with Maria and actually yeah, it's nice. try her shrimp. Good. They're like extra good today. <laughs> I can't cook. <laughs> Well, this was our home course when I was in school, it still is. A lot of options, we have like different types of grass on the greens in the short game area so you can get ready for different conditions and stuff. So like that's very special. I don't know, it just feels more like home. I tried being somewhere else and it didn't work. Pachuca is an hour and a half north of Mexico City. We only have a nine hole golf course. But, you know, we, we made it work. So coming from that to a place like this, like I've always felt like I was, you know, the luckiest person to be able to experience a golf course like this and facilities like this. I knew I was gonna, you know, always be welcome back here and I love it. I mean, when I came out here to college and we had such a competitive team. You think you're working hard? She kind of had that professionalism that you see in professional golfers now, but she had that in college, which is pretty rare. No rep was just because, like everything had a reason. But then she also did a great job of just enjoying it, laughing, having a good time. But when it was time to work, it was time to work. I just need to like not warm up and go straight out on the course. When I got my LPGA Tour card the fall of my junior year, it was kind of a tough decision to say, okay, like, do I just turn professional or do I wait out a, another year and, you know, have a chance at winning a championship at home? It was honestly very easy for me to decide to, to stay and, and give it a shot at winning individually and 
we had a great team, we had had you know great success. So I'm like, it's I'm just gonna stay and, and it'll be worth it. Kind of turned professional pretty much the day after, and I'm very happy I I did that. Yeah, we're on hole number 12. I think it's one of the hardest tee shots on the golf course. You kind of have to hit a little fade. And I've always kind of struggled with this hole. And I knew, of course, I, up until this point, hadn't made a bogey and was kind of in the zone and playing pretty flawlessly. So this tee shot was hard and important for me during the final round. I hit it down the middle of the fairway and like, I was starting to get, you know, a little of the adrenaline and I knew I was playing good. I knew it was playing hard. So I knew I had a chance at winning the championship. So I hit it just over the green and made this like 40 footer for birdie. For the rest of the round, I was, I was cruising and never thought twice about not being the champion at the end of the day. See if I can get it close to the tee. That's kind of where the pin was. Still got it. <laughs> Leading up to that year, she had many close moments, but she hadn't won. To do it on your home course in the final tournament made that one even more special. I hit the shot. I hit it probably like 15, 18 feet from the pin. And as we were walking up, everybody started calling the hogs. And I was walking with Shauna, and it was just such a special moment. Like, I, I get goosebumps just, you know, from remembering it. I don't think it could have been any better sharing it with everybody that I cared about. Winning the national championship at home was kind of the best way to say thank you to you know the the Razorback and, and all of this community. It's something that I know everybody's gonna remember for a long long time. We are at the first tee here in Northwest Arkansas and they are the home of Fassi's friends. So every Thursday we have two clinics. Okay, between these two. You got it? We have anywhere from like 12 to 20 kids come and meet and have fun. Like it's a very relaxed class. I, I have a cousin with special needs. We grew up doing everything together and when I started playing golf, she wanted to play golf as well, and because of her disability, it was very difficult for her to find a place where she could go and practice and get better. And I remember always saying like how messed up that was and how wrong it felt, how unfair, you know? I remember telling my mom like, one day I want to have a foundation and I want to make sure that every kid that wants to play golf has the opportunity to play golf. I just wanted everybody to have a place where they can feel included and they feel like they, they belong. Yep. Go a little bit shorter too. My dream with, with Fossi's Friends is hopefully, you know, to start spreading it here in the U.S., to bring it back to Mexico and have like an official Fossi's Friends clinic there. And we need to work to, to get there, but it's really something that I think can change a lot of lives and I'm excited to hopefully do it.